Okay, Sus. <laughs> All right. Hi there, everybody. It's Susan Batchelder here again, and I am with my unstoppable partner, Tammy Montgomery. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hey, Susan. I'm fantastic. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <Yeah. laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm not quite, I don't know where I am. No, I'm just joking. I know where I am, but it's unexpected. <laughs> right, exactly. So for those of you watching, welcome to our, our video. I hope that you've watched other videos of ours. And if you haven't, just check um, below and we'll have a few links so that you can get to know us more. But today here, we're coming to you with, as always, a specific topic. And today, we want to talk a little bit about life's chaos because here's the thing, we all have life chaos and um, Tammy and I are, are are very, very engaging and interactive, in, interactive, excuse me, and dynamic about like just the, the ebb and flow with each other's life chaos because we're just really real about life's chaos and to be aware of it is really important, but life happens. And in amongst that, somehow we have to carve out time for us, time for the family, time for work, time to run your business. <laughs> so we really like, I think we're both passionate, and Tammy will just speak to it for herself, but we're both really passionate about helping our members um, sort through how to do that, how to be effective in your business amongst all the chaos. Because if every time that life happens, you just drop away from, your business and lose your focus, then it takes you even longer to pull yourself back into it. So it, this was Tammy's idea today to talk about this topic. And thank you, Tammy. Um, so I'll, I'll let you build out into it. And then I'll tell the story of why it, it came up and why I'm, I'm in the middle of, of nowhere. I mean, it's not that I'm in any more chaos than you or not, but that's what kind of made us think of it. It's like, well, she's just, pin dropped in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and, you know, I got a text from you last night and, you know, Susan tra is traveling right now at the moment. And um, of course you can see I'm in my home office. Now, sometimes I'm in my car or I'm, you know, running a marathon or whatever that I'm doing at the time right now. So the thing about it is, is the reason why it came up is because she's texted me and she says, I'm actually in Omaha. And I'm like, huh? Wait, I thought you were supposed to be in Canada, you know? So, so here's my business partner, and of course, we're very close. So um, as friends and everything like that, not, not location close, but close because we're friends. And I, I worry, I try not to worry about her, but I was a little worried, and, and she tells me not to worry. So anyway, I'm like, wait, wait, what do you mean? And I'm looking at my phone, and, she, <laughs> and I'm like, no matter what, text me. I don't care how late it is. So I got a text at like 4.20 in the morning. Well, I, that's when I checked my phone. So I'll, this just goes to show you that like literally you can work from where you are, but you can also have stuff that happens to you, you know, and we all have life that gets in the way. So many people have said to me, but Tammy, I'm too busy. Well, look at it. We're two stay at home moms. Like Susan said, we have families. We have, you know, we have team members, of course, we have members. And so what I want to say is whether you're a team member or whether you're thinking about joining us is that you can do this business when you sit down, like Susan said, I told her just about 10 minutes ago, I said, I'm locked in in my, my chair right now. And I will do some, you know, some work effectively. And, and this is what Susan teaches. And so you get super focused. And now when you get super focused, that's when your pro, pro, uh, productivity goes up, right? So then you can then, of course, take a trip or something like that or go do something. That's just the awesome part, especially with the high ticket um, affiliate sales business that we're in. So that's what I wanted to say today is because this is a perfect example. She's got a beautiful backdrop. Um, I just actually got back from the vet. Um, my, my dog is actually getting some, some extra care that he needs. So, you know, there's things that do get in the way. You know, there's things that life does get in the way. And Susan's got a great point. You just don't step away from it, though. Because, because what happens is if you do and then you don't have it in the back of your mind, that's when the momentum slows down and then you're just like, oh, well, I'll get back to that tomorrow or tomorrow. And tomorrow may never come, right? Tomorrow may never come. So anyway, that's essentially what I wanted to say is that in my opinion, if you just stick and you just, you know, stick to what, 90, 120 minutes a day, at least work on your business. I've worked on my business every single day, I think for the past 29 years, I feel like. Um, of course, you know, we take vacations, but I'm just saying and take, you know, time out for yourself. 
but I just really think it's important when you're an entrepreneur to make sure that you keep track of your business. I mean, why else did you get into a business, right, Susan? Or why else would you get into a business? It's to make profit. It's not to just let it sit on the, on the shelf. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the reality of it is, is there is a lot of flexibility, but some people think that the flexibility of being in business for yourself, creating your own entrepreneurial assets, um, means like not really working. But that's, that's not really what it means. It means right. working really, really, really hard and intensely when you choose on your terms. Right. So, so sometimes, like, for example, before I leave on a trip, sometimes the week or 10, 12 days before, I put in extra long days so there's some extra pieces in place. And then that way the days when I'm traveling, and this is just my way of doing it, um, I have more adaptability, more like kind of, um, ebb, ebb and flow or more playroom to work whenever it fits into whatever else is going on where, wherever I'm traveling. So whether you do 30 minutes in the morning and then plug in, you know, maybe somewhere from 20 to 90 minutes, somewhere in the middle of the day and then wrap up another hour or so later in the evening or <clears throat> however you want to work that. But you're still always pulling out some time and, and focusing on your business and sometimes adaptability. So for example, and this is why Tammy thought of this topic today, um, the stuff, the work tasks that I had planned for today required me to be at home in my home office because um, of course I can do a lot of things on my phone and I can do a lot of things on my laptop. I actually used to be able to do almost everything on my laptop, but it's kind of, it's having a Harry Carey thing right now. Speaking of chaos, so I can't upload any of my working softwares to do some of the things that need to be done. So anyway, and that was what I was going to do today with some specific work that I require, these, this software, and my microphone, <laughs> my Yeti. <laughs> yeah. And so... Uh, you know, that, that can just wait. So I adapted. So I'm doing different kind of work today. We didn't plan this video, but it seemed like a great idea. And we're like, uh, many of you are going to see this video because it's a great topic. Life happens to all of us. Yeah. Chaos happens to all of us. And the cool thing, what happens when you work with us is we really help you figure out your blueprint because there's no one size fits all daily method of operation or blueprint, but there is some really key structured things that everyone should do and so if you fit that into to you and just uh be adaptable and be able to um skip when you need to sit down when you need to and <laughs> just adjust it's just exactly. adapting and reframing yeah exactly and i like that i'm going to actually talk about that dmo that you're talking about because in the thing is, Susan, is really the way we work and the way we consult our high ticket clients is there is no one size that fits all. There's some people that want to do, um, let's just say, uh, video marketing is, and is an example and just want to do video marketing. Then we can teach them that because we have combined between you and I, um, what close to, to uh, I'm just trying to add it up. 20 years experience. I mean, you've pretty much been, you know, seven, same thing. So, you know what I mean? 14, 20 years experience. We've been marketing. I've been marketing a business for 29 years. That's really what every business is, is you're a marketer, whether you have a fitness gym or whether you're an accountant, you're a marketer, right? Cause you need clients. So, so the thing is, is if you want to do that, or if you want to do um, click traffic, I've told people, I've told two people today, that's Susan's specialty. You know, if you want to do classified ads, that's what I know how to do. So, so that's the cool part is we can customize your advertising strategy. It's not, and there's other people that do teach one method of marketing and that's it. Well, that's kind of suicide because what happens if that one method of marketing goes down? Like example, the Google slap, right? Not, there was a lot of guys that didn't know what to do about that afterwards, you know, with the Google slap. Yep. So, so, you know, so you got to have what I call a wagon wheel of marketing methods. You have to have so that, if one goes out or, or, or you know, the uh, rug gets pulled out from underneath you, then you have another marketing strategy. Exactly. Exactly. So, and it comes back to that um, being, being adaptable. You have, you have to adapt to the situation, adapt to whatever, whatever's happened at that given time and, 
and adjust and move on. Exactly. And that's, that's exactly. You're brilliant. And you're brilliant at that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just, you know, touch on a little bit about how I, how you've helped me and then maybe how you help others just really if let's say you had a you had a plane full of people that were really getting agitated just because simply you guys had to keep circling around and around in the air. And a lot of times people will do a knee jerk reaction is what I call it to certain situations and they don't think first. And then all of a sudden now they're getting agitated. So if you can just describe what the normal, the normal people do that when, when they're in that situation. Um, yeah. And, and, and what was happening and, and it was really interesting as I was observing them, um, the people and then the normal thing or the, the common, I guess, thing that you're going to do is start thinking about how this is interfering with everything that you had planned. It, it's like everything that's going wrong. And then that starts a, a huge ripple of, oh, I'm not going to get home on time. The people that were picking me up are, aren't, like, aren't going to know. And then I, I won't get to this and I won't get to that and I won't be able to do this tomorrow and I won't be able to get to work and and all of a sudden one reminds the other and your heart rate goes up and you're getting really excited a little bit anxious and then and then you're angry and then oh they just made another announcement and it's different than the last one and now I'm confused and I don't know and I'm afraid and I'm angry and oh my goodness one feeds the other right mm -hmm. and and that high energy is really contagious and you know how you are on a plane. <laughs> right. It's even it doubly works. worse. And that energy just feeds off and feeds off and feeds off. And people that maybe wouldn't normally get anxious are feeling really anxious. And we are kind of locked in. You know, we've been up, we're up in the air and we're circling around <laughs> and around. And we have no idea an hours have passed, right? We have no idea when we're going to get out of this small enclosed space. So, um... Yeah, so so that is the common thing that happens, and that is what happened with what like around three hundred people. And, and wow, yeah, that's incredible. And you know what, Susan, I used to be one of those people until you taught me a few strategies. And you know what happened to me? You probably already know what happened to my heart. Yeah, I went into AFib. Yeah, three times because of that anxiety. And they say that AFib's not take, tied to anxiety. I really think it is. And every time I get myself worked up, worked up because, you know, certain situations, I will go into AFib. And I haven't been in AFib in three years, knock on wood. No, sorry, um, two years since really just learning, you know, and, and knowing how to calm my mind, but essentially, especially after working with you for a year. Right. So, and you just see perspective switch, and it's the same with any anything that gets dropped in your lap or chaos. You just... Sometimes we have to pause and take a moment and sometimes it takes one extra breath and sometimes it takes 15 extra breaths, like whatever it takes, because what else matters than right now in the moment and how you are going to face that moment? Nothing, nothing else matters. And so then you just start asking yourself the questions. And so what? And how terrible will that be? And then what? You know, like different questions than then leading yourself down the negative negative path and just start looking for the solution, right? Right. And then all of a sudden your perspective changed and be grateful for for what is what you do know, for what is good and um, for what you do know. So it's just you're looking for the solution and you're grateful for what's good. So I mean, we didn't crash. They told the pilot not to not to land for obvious reasons, right? Mm -hmm. It's a storm. What I don't know exactly. Like we could see the vibrant lightning, so it was definitely lightning uh, as part of it. But I mean, I don't even I don't I don't even go there like wondering why the pilot would be told not to land. But you would think there was some scientific reasons behind it, right? They, they right. think things all the time. You would think that they chose not to, so thank you, you know? Exactly. Thank you for, you know, maybe it was a, a, a wrong call, but it was a call to attempt to save lives, right? Right, exactly. So yeah, I've got two days here in... Um, Omaha. In Omaha, <laughs> Nebraska. And <laughs> never been there and you were starting to it's, it's, it's you know, show me it and I thought it was really cool. Yeah. So, 
So it's just, it is a really good example. And thank you for, for suggesting that we kind of discuss it today. Because sometimes a real life story um, just really helps articulate a, a, something that, like a real, um, so, something tangible for people to, to relate to that we're, that we're talking about. Because mm -hmm. we can just, you know, surmise and create um, false, or not really false, but conceptualize a story or a point, but to have an actual story to walk people through, it's just a really good idea. Yeah. And even today, like, um, so it, this is two, th two or a quarter to three in the morning. And I'm talking to the, the ticketing person, the person in charge of, of re-ticketing. And they kept on trying to pick times where they could fly me from here, from Omaha over to Minneapolis so that I could get my connection to back to home to Saskatoon. And then they even tried like two stops. So it would be from here to Minneapolis, to Toronto, to Saskatoon. And none of the flight times were matching up because today there's, they're trying to adjust all, all of these other times and everything. And, and finally I just said, um, what does Friday look like? Does Friday, is there a simple flight from Omaha to Minneapolis and then to Saskatoon. Is that, does that look there? Oh, yes. I'm like, put my name in those ones, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can find a hotel and I can take 24 hours and open up my laptop, and do some work, explore something. I'm, I'm like, just that, what, what about that? <laughs> Exactly. And he's like, oh, okay. And I looked at the time on my phone after I was done with this person. And I mean, I had stood in lines and people were shifting lines and everything. They were trying to do it like with the ticket people at the airport too. But I just thought, okay, I'm going to try on the phone. I, and they were all busy trying to accommodate all of us. But um, so yeah, this was an hour on the phone with this one fella trying. And he was, you know, he, he was even getting frustrated. And I said, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, we're here until we find the solution, right? Right. And he said, yes. Like, I even calmed him down. I just said, I figured you would. I can't, I can't I run that. off anywhere. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I can't. Like, there's no race. It's the middle of the night. I would really love to find a hotel room and just crash. But this needs to be figured out and before I go to sleep. So let, don't worry about it. Just keep looking. <laughs> exactly and that's a, that's an unstoppable trait of yours it's an unstoppable trait i mean it really is it's and tricky to teach but i ho i hope through the story it helps i think it helps people realize that when they see people sometimes on video or you know in the social media or like what you and i do and humanizing the digital arena a lot of times you and i are very just you know happy you know laughing a lot right mm -hmm. and they have to see this side of it that there's like some seriousness to it, but at the same time, there's a solution to it. So in other words, it paints a picture, and this is why I've told people a lot. Sometimes the freedom and the, um, the freedom is so worth it, by the way. The freedom to not have a boss telling you what to do or the freedom, but listen, can this get any like harder than this Susan sitting in the dang hotel room? I mean, that's way, 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 you know, and here we <laughs> <laughs> You and know, and there, home, you know, that's right. And there is other sides to it. Like you have sure. to remember, there's other sides to it. Like my daughter is just, in fact, she was, she was, she's calling me again now. She's right. You know, it's, it's disturbing. It throws, throws things out. She's homesick. Sure. You know, literally like, you know, that bellyache that you get when you just need to see that person that you need to see. Right. So, and there's, there is other sides to it. Like I was literally, I was so tired. Absolutely. That I didn't know. I had to remind myself, okay, right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> you know, exactly. Like, and then that's when I try not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> but you just, that's just life. So each one of you watching this video, you have times like that. You have times yeah. where you just want to curl up in a ball and say, Mm, screw it. <laughs> There's another word there, but I'll just be polite. <laughs> um, exactly, just, exactly. But it's okay. Take those moments when life has thrown you stuff at you and the chaos and stuff. It's okay. Just breathe through it and 
run through your list of, of most likely people or most beneficial people to connect with at that time. Maybe not to like dump, you don't always have to dump your stuff, but what, what person would you like to talk to to, to, uh, to help you change that state or comfort you? Yeah. What, what physical activity can you do to change your state? Is it taking some breaths? Is it, do you have some techniques in place, which we also teach you those? Um, yes, we do. Always ask for the, what, what is the immediate solution? And then what's the next level of a solution to, to get you through that? So I guess that, that's, that's very important. It's that's not, like we show the fun stuff and all the freedom and the traveling, but to get to this point, like I'll, and I'll <clears throat> step back into away from the we and, and um, speak of just for me, like a lot, because I have been showing a lot of the freedom right now um, because it is those freedom options are expanding but I had like really hardly any freedom for a very long time before I got to that. So don't ever forget that, you know, like don't ever forget that I was nine and a half years where I hardly left my house. I made my first amount stuck in bed. And it's during that time, the fact that I did whatever it took, sometimes 12, 14 hours a day crying, like really just like intensely staring at this computer. Okay, will this page work? Will this, you know, whatever. I did not quit. So I did what it took to get to this and I still like put in extra hours. So never look at somebody and think that they, that they just woke up there because they right. didn't. Right? And Tammy didn't just wake up where she was. There was a lot of, of falls, face plants, swollen ankles, literally physically. And yep you know, uh, crashes and frustrations behind the scenes. So, yeah. so that's why. The, the critical thinking, the strategy, and the problem solving, we, we, we've been through that. Yeah. And so that's why we're so beneficial to help you walk through yours. We can shorten your path to succeeding online in these direct sales specifically uh, greatly because of that. So that's that's really the core message of this. Like, but, Life chaos happens, uh, life happens, and you still have to work on your business. And because of our separate and together, meshed together experience, we have a lot to offer you to help you work through all that. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And I said that to one person the other day because they're like, wow, you're looking really super good. And I said, and they said, what did you do? And I said, well, here's a webinar you can watch. <laughs> yeah. the three steps, right? but I just didn't wake up and have 121 pounds shut off my body. It took me <laughs> over a year and some months to do it. Right. Um, yeah. So I think people just have to realize it's almost a habit. Don't you think Susan, it gets to be almost a habit in everyday life. Yeah. And, and just doing, doing the, the regular stuff of what, of what it takes and then you're, you're stronger and then it is easier to face life chaos because you've, you've been keeping up with stuff. Exactly. Awesome video. Wow. Yeah. People are going to love, I mean, we're going to get high reviews on this video. I can already tell. <laughs> I, I, I can already pat myself and pat you on the back for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. It was a great idea, Tammy. No problem. And That's all like of you, just look below. There'll be more links um, to our other videos so you can really like see multiple sides of us and find out what we're, uh, what we're up to. Reach out, connect with us, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Susan. Thank you, Tim.